And I want to start off by talking about this too. Uh, at this point, hashtag restore the Snyderverse is basically just Disney will erase the sequel trilogy at this point. Okay. Uh, that yeah. kind of, that kind of, you know, dedication to this idea uh, and, and the proliferation of this idea that somehow magically everyone's going to get what they want. In the right. case of Doomcock and those guys, the the you know the deletion of the sequel trilogy. In the case of Snyder Cut fans, the continuation of the Snyderverse. And as much as I know you and I would like to see the Snyderverse continue, it's pretty easy to see where things are right now. Yeah, and uh, you know I, I'm a firm believer in in you know trudging on and and fighting for what you believe in, and you know all those glorious things that like m the movies make out to 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 be more more. I don't know, uh, uh, mystical than, yeah. they, than they actually are in real life. Like in real life, it comes down to money and greed, right? And and Warner, <laughs> Brothers, yeah. and, and Warner Brothers, right? They're, they're just, they, they're they doing their own thing. and they're, they're, They want money and they want greed or yeah. they have greed. Yeah, I mean, well, but every studio does. Every studio does. Yeah. And they're not, listen, but, and I've been saying this for a long time. They look at it like they've done you a favor, right? by the, the, the Snyder cut even coming out. They yeah. look at it like, okay, look, we threw you some bait, right? We we did what you wanted. Now we're going to do our thing and you should be grateful. Like the, I feel like that's how they look at it. And uh, so like the whole restore of the Snyder verse, um, look, look what happened today. Zach signs with Netflix or, or Stone Quarry signs, signs with signs with Netflix. Yeah. Snyder verse has a limited time to to restore itself right or be restored and if it doesn't hit that window then it, it, it it's just impossible to to do and that window looks with this article like with this deal it looks like that window is now passing true and can we just say i mean like i think at this point because it's been <laughs> uh was it now four months since the release of the snyder cut yep on hbo max the official numbers never came out Zach and Deborah have said that they never got the numbers. The producer of the movie said he never got the numbers. Warner Brothers never released any of that information. No VOD sales, nothing. nothing. The only thing we're going to be able to maybe find out in about six, seven months is going to be how well the 4K sold on home video because those numbers do get reported and the numbers.com will pick them up. Yep. So maybe by the first anniversary, we can look back and go, okay, okay. a fair amount of them sold. Yeah, and and by all means, I'm sure it's going to be a smashing success. Right? Oh, absolutely. You know absolutely. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, you look at how many, how many times the, the trailer got watched, right? Uh, whether or not that's, you know, the fanboys like us watching it 200 times per, that's a different story. But I mean, if you look on, on, on the numbers that we can see, um, I, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the 4k release and the home video, uh, releases, you look at the, that BVS ultimate edition remaster, was sold out. I mean, I think it's still sold out. Yeah, you can't even find it in. So well, no. Well, actually, just the other day, Amazon dropped it to fifteen bucks uh, for a brief sale, and I think, but I think it was twenty when it came out because I bought it on four K for I think twenty. But yeah, you had to get it. I had to get like I think the second or third shipment yeah. when it came out. So like clearly it dropped and people bought it. And what it's really going to boil down to is the Zack Snyder uh, Justice League trilogy that's gonna we'll have to see how that box how that box set does and and if they'll be able if we'll ever be able to get the numbers off of that thing and there will be i mean clearly people are going to spend the money and i'm i'm going to spend the money i mean i i, I want to get that collection myself uh you know i mean i, I would thankfully like h bart's here one of my uh, uh very generous uh you know members uh you know he sent me the uh the 4k copy from the uk you know, yeah. so I mean, that was really generous of him. And he, he actually says here, Matt, it's not over. Sign Snyder secretly signed with Warner Brothers next year. Zack Snyder, Justice League 2. Yeah. Hashtag our, copium. Hashtag opium. Yeah. Our, on our channel, we have this kid, uh, <laughs> Integrity. Um, oh, that. Oh, that. That guy. That yeah, guy. That effing yeah. guy. He hates me. Oh, he hates you? He, he, because he would pop into my streams too or my comment section. He's like, <laughs> it's coming back, you guys. Well, he, like, he, even, uh, dude, dude, today we had, uh, and this is nothing against the guy or the, the gal. I don't know if he's a guy or girl uh, or non binary, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't know what you are. <laughs> yeah. Just check uh, a box. A dinosaur, a, a hippo, An attack helicopter. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's a whole other thing, though. That, that's a whole yeah. That's a whole another topic. Yeah. Uh, but but he always pops in. Even tonight we had on um, Charlie Talbert. He pops. Charlie Talbert has nothing to do with the Snyderverse, not even remotely. Yeah. You just may, maybe a fan of it. Who knows? Uh, cause he w- talked about Watchmen a little bit and integrity pops in and is like, Zach is back to direct that Zach Snyder's just sleep two and three. Ben Affleck is signed up. It's just like, all right. I, I saw your, I saw your expression. I think your yeah, expression yeah, matched my expression. Like, cause like we looked at each other like, like okay. <laughs> like, <what> is this? <laughs> this is so yeah. out of place, man. <laughs> but you got that. Now you got TTC sniping here, who is, I know a dedicated <laughs> Snyder fan, uh, saying here, that uh, watch how in DC fandom Zach appears and shows his slate of Justice League and the other spinoffs to start with. Hey man, if that happens, I will have no problem eating my words like 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 flat out. Have Straight no up. problem eating my words, and but I just don't part. see it happening. That's the best part about this is like I'm okay with being wrong. Yeah, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this though. So it's like people get mad at me for like my my out there hot takes, but you know who I kind of learned that from and who you kind of remind me of in the same vein is like Gary Vaynerchuk, okay. right? Like I like Gary V. I've, yeah. I've read his. I, I read cr- uh, Crushing It recently, okay. and and I really enjoyed it. Uh, just because I always en- enjoy like people talking about this space, you know. Yeah. Uh, like and and all the case studies that they did on there, and a lot of us. He he goes, yeah, I make bold proclamations all the time. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I admit it. Right. But people get mad at me. The haters want to see that I'm wrong, and that's not like I'm not doing that here predominantly 100 yeah. percent i actually think that it's over i do actually believe that but my but my my points are always backed up with what people have like publicly said and yes. what the data shows us whether as a lot of people have wanted to you know push the agenda uh, to the point of where it's like uh, you know they're they're just they don't want to see reality like i made the joke before you came on in that like i saw a lot of the a lot of bargaining phase today a, a lot of a lot of copium and some hopium mixed in with this announcement and a lot of people like no 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 it's a two-year deal he'll come back he'll come back and it's like you know okay we're getting we're getting closer to acceptance yes you know like maybe yeah. by the time rebel moon comes out in like two years we'll uh you know people will finally go oh okay again, again it's the same thing it's like do, you know how long, so uh, r- roughly right to shoot edit cut a minimum of a year a year and a half right yeah <clears throat> then he's got the the anime then he's got the army of thieves i know army of the i know that one's already done and it's coming but uh then you know the, he's got all these other projects in in oh and there's another one too did you see army uh, of the dead too and that yeah now he, but, now now the now, now that's happening right now that that's in the talks like netflix w- dude once once netflix got a hold of zach they're not gonna let him go no and, and, because because the numbers came out and because they said, money. well, and the money is there, but not only that, like, so people have to look at it like this. It's a couple different pronged thing. Uh, so when the movie dropped back in, uh, back in May, they did have it up on Cinemark, right? They played it in like 420 screens for yes. 23, I think. Right. I went to go see it in theaters because I'm like, hell yeah. And I really liked it. And, uh, and so, but I, I, you know, I made the money, had no issue with that, but a lot, apparently that was really good for Cinemark and that solidified a deal between Netflix and Cinemark to push this kind of stuff forward, to go forward and to, to have a better relationship in yeah. order to world, you know, to get a more of a wider distribution on these films. Because look, you got stuff like Gunpowder Milkshake is playing in 35 millimeter. I heard it's new, good. I haven't seen it yet myself. I, I heard, need to, yeah, but, it, I, but it was I playing haven't. at the new Bev, the new Beverly in LA, which is Quentin Tarantino's Phil, art uh, house. His, yeah. And yeah, I've his. been there, I've been there a bunch. I love that theater. It is totally old school, but I love that theater. And like they're playing, you know, I'm like gunpowder milkshake and 35 mil. Oh, hell yeah. I'd love to have gone seen that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I, like, and it, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I, I, I so you're talking about, you saw army of the dead in theaters, right? Yeah. In the Cinemark. We don't have those around here. Excuse me. <clears throat> we don't have Cinemark around here. So I, I, you know, unfortunately I wasn't able to, but uh, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure it looked great. Uh, I mean, but there's, you know, there's also problems with that movie too that I have. I'm not like, I'm a Snyder diehard, right? I love yeah. that. Oh I no, there are problems with Army of the Dead. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong. Like, like, I'm sorry, Gita, she got fucked, yeah. you know, like, and then she dies and then there's not one, like the, the whole thing was about Gita, you know, at least with the daughter storyline. And then like, she's the only survivor and at no point does she seem to give a shit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it was just like I'm watching the movie theater, and she's like, "My dad shot her dad," and she's crying, and I'm like, "But where the fuck is Kita?" Yeah. Where the fuck are her kids? Did her kids get hit in that low yield nuclear blast? Like, did they just <laughs> did Zach just commit like fucking you know like uh, genocide on this family? Like, what happened? Right. right. You, you know. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. And as soon as that dude, uh, as soon as his home homeboy popped his head out of uh, uh, of the the nuclear radi- radiation, I was like, "What? Well, he's not making well, it was, it anywhere it was, past that." Yeah, but it I was low yield. Yeah, it was low. Yeah, they made sure to say yeah. low yield, yeah, so it was more of a destructive force rather than it was like, yeah, you know, so, but, so it wasn't Hiroshima. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Out, yeah right? That was. I mean, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, people live there now, so yeah, that was that was super low yield. That was yeah. definitely like very like I was a two megaton. Uh, yeah. bomb i think we have like what like 60 megaton now or whatever like they could eviscerate entire continent literally. you know it, literally yeah they could just whatever but no no but uh, yeah i mean there was elements of the movie that were kind of a little bit too fanciful um but it's a fun movie i like it and i want to yeah. see more so so they got army of the dead 2 that's coming and uh and that's even you know they're talking about that here they got rebel moon they got a whole bunch of stuff that uh that zach's gonna be working on here but the thing i want to say though about army of the dead was initially they had said that in the first 10 days of army of the dead coming out 72 million households watched Watched. army of the dead it turns out that they were wrong it wasn't 72 million they corrected that number to 75 million oh okay it went up so it's three million more households ended up watching army of the dead i think like in the first 28 days that is a lot it doesn't sound like a lot and yes, I am a an Oak, well, uh, a Las Vegas Raider fan. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get, always get shit for that. Um, but it sounds like a small number, but that's a large number to be off. Like yeah, three million households. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of people in a lot of houses to be off. Yeah. So, so this, they say here that it was 75 million in the first four weeks of release. So, so and you know, Tuesday when Netflix and some of its quarterly earnings, the company revealed 75 million member accounts worldwide tuned in for snyder's army and let's and the crazy thing about it is is and that's what i'm worried about with these streaming services because let's just say to be fair right that there's three million uh um well i I don't even 75 million 75 million people paying 10 let's just round it out and make it even uh paying ten dollars a month yeah you know how much money that is per month Right. That's well, it's kill- yeah, they've got one hundred and eighty six million, I think. Uh, what is Netflix's subscriber count? Because I remember it's 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 near the 200, if not over 200. I mean, that's an unreal amount of money per month. Um, and and do you expect and 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 then you look over at like <laughs> studios like Marvel, right? Who yeah. they'll gross a billion on a film and that's considered a success. Yeah. But, now well, ne- but what's a success? This the streaming service has changed what is success uh success doesn't necessarily mean box office anymore it means something else and and i feel like that's going to um like we're in this really weird transitional period oh no i completely agree with you except uh, i just took a quick look as of may 11th 2021 netflix has 207.64 million active subscribers paying subscribers i don't even know what how to do that number i don't even know like i I mean i don't know how to do that number you know, here's the thing though, but Disney Plus is on track to beat them by 2025. 